comes Cornell the other way. Allison DeBagno on top of the key. DeBagno feeds it down low to Maka Anyawu. Anyawu backs in short range jumper. Good. Number 34, Maka Anyawu. Nice shot to start off Cornell getting a 2 0 lead early there by Anyawu. Get Cornell on pace here. And here's a layup shot uh, attempt there by Horvitzov. Doesn't fall. And Cornell pulls down the rebound and they head back the other way. Here's uh, Spencer Lane. No control. We will speak with Spencer Lane, by the way, at halftime of today's broadcast. Here's Maka Anyawu again. Number 34. To DeMagno, near side, three point range. DeMagno will dribble along the near baseline. Feeds it out to Fitzpatrick. Here's Lyman for three. Got it. DeMagno will, from the top of the three point arc, kicks it near side for Lyman. Another three. She got it. Number side for Long. Long down low for Fitzpatrick. Shot clock down to three. Turnaround jumper. Good. Number two for Flint. Flint now dribbling in the paint down low to Fitzpatrick. Her shot's good and she's fouled. And Cornell finding success once again underneath using their size and their power underneath between Fitzpatrick and Anyawu. Getting underneath and getting those key shots and now going to the free throw line. Shooting 7 for 10 on the season so far. And they're going to have a lot of success down the road if they can keep this up this early. And the free throw rattles around and falls for Fitzpatrick. Made it along the baseline. The ball sports out of her hands. And the shot clock expires. It's a turnover for Bucknell. It will be Cornell basketball. And it's the communication on defense that Cornell is able to utilize and help out their zone. You can see every one of the five players on the court communicating, talking with each other, letting know who's getting open, who's setting the screens, and that's making the difference. That's the reason why they have a 10-point lead. Fitzpatrick down low. That shot falls. Uh, to Fitzpatrick to Lane, top of the three-point arc. Shot clock down to five. Lane maneuvers in the, in the lane. She kicks out to Lyman for three. Got it! Number 12, Shelby Long. Lyman's three. third three-pointer of the afternoon, and Cornell is up 29-17. And it's Long controlling it. Long jumper by DeMagno gets it. Count that as a three-pointer for DeMagno, her first of the game, fourth for the team. That's its 38-27 now, about a minute to go here in the first half of play. 12.09 remaining now in the second half. This foul is going to be against Zayner. Cornell again working the possession big time. They're waiting for that perfect opportunity or the look out, uh, out top as we get one right here. Here's Rakestraw from the left elbow. It falls. Completely opposite game plan right there. Cornell looking for the perfect opportunity, running the shot clock down last time. Get a new shot clock. Get a, get a pass kit right away. Five seconds in and whatever's working for them, I guess. Sarah Talamante is on the Talamantes on the court now for the Big Reg. So she, Flynn, and Rigstra seeing time tonight at Newman Arena, something we have not seen in home games in the past. Or where uh, they've played several close games. And uh, Coach Smith, uh, again, putting more of an opportunity for the bench players to today. Here is Long, about 30 feet away from the basket, straight away. Far side for Talamantes, outside left. Seven on the shot clock. Talamantes dribbles to the free throw line, kicks out to Flynn. Three-pointer is good. The shot is no good. Bucknell coming down quickly now in transition. Shelby Romine driving to the net, but the shot is blocked beautifully by Domango, a nice pass back up to the top of the three-point line center court. Down inside to Claire Fitzpatrick. Who Allison DeMagno right now bringing it up for the big red. Passes it inside, and the shot goes up by Marissa Rextra. The rebound is picked up by Fitzpatrick. Brings it over to the right side, works it out to the top towards midcourt for Shelby Lyman. She works it inside over to the left side. To, uh, to Allison DeMagno, who works inside, comes all the way down into the paint, tries to get a shot off, but no good. Rakestraw comes up with the shot, moves back a couple of steps, put up as a nice little jumper. Marissa Rakestraw with another couple of points. She's getting the big points inside in the paint, the dirty shots, shooting it all over. Sarah Talamantes will inbound the ball for the big red just to our left. Looking for someone open. Bucknell defending well at this point in time. Rebounds into Tyler Kim, who will now drive to the basket, try and put up, puts up the layup, and it is good. Red at this point, it's all about winding the clock down. Tyler Kim with it. Center court just beyond the three-point line. Looking for something inside. Not taking too many risks at this point in time. Passed over to Sarah Talamantes, who drives inside, pulls up, and puts up the little lap, and it is good. Second shot on the way from Fighter. 
And shot is up, is up, and it is no good. Cornell comes up with the rebound, and it's all about running the clock out at this point. Sarah Talamantes brings the ball up, passes it off to Allie Munson. But she does nothing but dribble. The buzzer sounds, and that is it. Cornell walks away with the victory after the long break for finals. 65-45, to 45, a dominant win against the Bucknell Bisons.